this is Harry Judd for Box and Social in association with Bet Fred here in and Coach. I'm delighted to be joined by Zach Miller. First of all, how are we? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Very good. Um, obviously, started a week Tuesday. Just done a pad session now with Steve and um, back later for a bit of yoga. <laughs> bit of a uh, hot yoga, yeah, something we normally yoga. do in this in this place. So I talked to Liam earlier. Yeah. It's something you do all the time here. Yeah, we try and get it in twice, three times a week. Good for recovery. It helps you stretching. People think it's easy, they're going to come down and have a lie down and get talked to and chill out for an hour, but nah, it's good, um, it's hard, you know what I mean? Holding the postures and that gets you strong. How's your downward dog? Yeah, very tight. <laughs> Not the best at that. Obviously, speaking about Liam, well, three days ago you were sparring with him, shared the ring with him, what was that like? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? You know what I mean? He's a bit bigger than me. He's got a good old ramrod jab. Needed my neck cracking anyway, so he sorted that out with a good stiff jab, but... Nah, it's good. I love getting in there, moving about with the bigger lads. It's great, do you know what I mean? Test yourself, why not? Good stable down here. It's a buzzing gym, isn't it? Yeah, it's buzzing. Do you know what I mean? All the lads are down to earth. We're all real people, you mm. know what I mean? Come in, train hard, have a laugh. That's the way it is, do you know what I mean? But I know I can trust them with anything, do you know what I mean? Steve, the lads, top people to be around. You're back out October 22nd, 22nd. yeah, in Oldham. Yeah. Um, so you know, not far from, from here, really. So how excited are you to be back out? Yeah, it's good because been on the fighters all shown a lot. And they've been in over Sheffield ways, been on a Friday. It's hard for people to get there, do you know what I mean, from work, getting over on a Friday after work and all that. So glad to be back local, made my debut there, box there since. Mm. So um, yeah, have my tenth one there, why not? Exactly what you out what you want to be out regularly? Yeah, of course, you want to be as busy as possible. I've been lucky, I've been pretty busy through the lockdowns, you know what I mean? So I've not really gone stale. This might be one of the longest I've ever had to wait for a fight. Boxed in early May, so yeah. October, it's not that far, but I'm itching to get back in there, do you know what I mean? Because you started pro in 2019, probably the worst time to start yeah. going pro with yeah, um, yeah. The, the inevitable lockdown afterwards. Mm. So, yeah, how's, how's it really been going for you, to obviously turning pro and that happening? Well, they had one in, um, I had one in November 2019, one in December. Then obviously the Covid it, didn't it? Straight away, near enough in the new year when the fights are getting busy again, so... Went stale for a while and then I boxed in, I think it might have been in November again. Mm. I got out on that driving show, it was freezing in December. Dennis Hobson put it on, but it was top, you know what I mean? Got on there, got on first and got home. But now I've been quite busy through the lockdown, so I've not been too bad. I've seen them open air shows in Sheffield as well, so I've not done too bad, me, to be honest. Can you confirm an opponent for us? I've tried to look all, you know, for, for an opponent who you're fighting. Do you have any idea yourself? My manager's put forward, um, my manager Kevin Marie, he's put forward um, to what a fight for the central area. I think he's vacant at Super Bantam. So um, I said, yeah, of course, you know what I mean? I spoke to Steve. It's up to him, I'm not bothered. If he wants me to fight for it, I'll fight for it. But I'm ready to fight for it, do you know what I mean? So no opponents have been put forward yet, I don't think. I think Kevin's working on it. Hopefully get it finalised this week if we can. That's what you wanted, though, to, yeah, get, yeah. to get a title. To get central awesome. areas it is a massive achievement so early on in your career. That's what makes me 10th fight now. Looking to step up, done an eight rounder last time, so why not? Do you know what I mean? That's what you're in it for. You've got to take your opportunities while they're there. A lot of people go past it and miss it, then they go stale, they can't get a belt for a bit. So if the opportunities arise and I'm in the gym, I'm ready. Take it, do you know what I mean? That's what you want. Speaking to Steve, though, I do you want to sort of take your time? There is no rush, you're only 25 years of age, yeah. so you, know, you don't want to rush anything oh. at this early on. No, there's no rush, do you know what I mean? I'll pick that up. Hopefully, if I get the opportunity, and then um, that's it. Just do whatever Steve wants me to do. He knows the right path. Mm. He's not daft, do you know what I mean? He's had Liam, he's had Sarah. He's had loads of boxers, done the same with Jack. knows what he's doing, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we get this and then take our time, see what the options are. Liam is back out October 8th. Yeah. Um, yeah, how does he get fair in that fight? It is a tough fight against a tough Scotsman, yeah. but you know, looking to, to get the win. I think, yeah, I think it's a good fight. Really good fight for Liam. The kid's not no mug, do you know what I mean? Martin Arkin is a good tough opponent and um, he'll be there to win obviously do you know what I mean he wants the belt as much as Liam does so it's going to make for a top fight but Liam's been in the gym when he went in the gym over Christmas and that do you know what I mean he stayed ticking over all year he's been in the gym training hard weight's been good so there's no reason why he can't go in there and do the business do you know what I mean and he's looking well looking really well as a featherweight it's a really really packed division uh, what are the fighters that you perhaps look up to in time to emulate yeah, I don't really try to look up to him and be like, no one, do you know what I mean? I'm doing my own thing. I'm, I'm Zach Miller, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be such a person, don't want to be such a person. I, I, I want to be the best version of me. Mm. And I think the best version of me is a top quality fighter, so 
that's what I'm aiming to get there, and that's what me and Steve are working on day in, day out. Got to speak about other matters um, in boxing. It is the Canelo Triple G card. Just yeah. give me any thoughts on that one. To be honest, there's not, I've not really watched much of the build-up for this one or anything like that. I think it starts today. Yeah, I think the starts. media starts today. That's yeah, fight week media and all that, won't it? So I'll give it a watch in that. But I think going off the past performances, I just think, I think Canelo might have a little bit more left in him than Triple G. Do you know what I mean? Like, in his past couple of fights, he's been getting it a lot more at Triple G. Not looking as tough as he has been, but like you say, Canelo got beat off Bivol, do you know what I mean? So, obviously it's an high weight, but it's making for a good fight again, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We're all excited to watch it, so just let him get it on. And also news has just come out half an hour, say 40 minutes ago. AJ has accepted Fury's terms for the fight in December 3rd. Um, yeah, to get your, your yeah. thoughts on that one, it seems like the big British fight is finally happening. Yeah, of course. I'm glad it's happening, even for the non Boxing fans, do you know what I mean? They still know who these two people are. They're icons in the sport, so it's top for them, you know what I mean? Just for the standard watcher. But yeah, it's an exciting fight, and I think, do you know what? You can't write any of them off. You definitely can't write AJ off. You can whack, do you know what I mean? A man of his size, he can punch, land from them on your chin. It's not good, is it? It's not good. So I don't know. It's going to be a top fight, though, hopefully. Hopefully, they have a good build up and all that. You know what Tyson's like? Should be a buzz.